I am in Virginia Beach, Virginia. This fucking town must be stupid because I'm trying to cross the street from that crosswalk and there's no there's no one of those things to show me to go that direction like yes it's okay for you to cross or no it's not okay i just kind of have to play it by ear and hopefully none of those drivers will hit me oh my god look it spinner hubcaps <laughs> i haven't seen those in like fucking ages can I, can I spin those? Can I spin them? Oh. <laughs> I was trying to spin his hubcaps. He, his, that one wouldn't spin. Hey, 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 walk in here, motherfucker. Stupid jackass in the Dodge Ram. There was a, there was a sign back there that said, white girls, exit here. There's a Starbucks right there. But you notice, there's really like no cars in the parking lot. Oh wait, there's actually a line of cars in the parking lot. Oh no, those are just parking spaces. I didn't see any white girls though. So I'm trying to find this place, it's called Wing King. It's apparently right up here, and I'm gonna go and have me some uh, barbecue wings for Din Din. One of my most favorite signs in the world. Actually, it's the most feared sign in the world. Wait, right there. That's just a challenge for me. Challenge accepted. And like a $2,500 fine. I stopped recording because a cop turned in front of me and then I thought about it and I went, wait, if anything, that's more of a reason to record. But he continued to walk or drive past me. It's probably because I was white. There's the cop right there. There he is right there. He must be just checking shit out. Uh-oh. He's coming to shoot me. Oh. oh, I got away. That's how much a white guy's got to run to get away from cops. So I walk all the way down there to this place. The prices are pretty good, but I only have like $10, so I gotta hike back. And I guess I'm just gonna get the next best thing, KFC. And, uh, people, I guess, don't really pay attention to is people walking down the street and I have to walk around your car to get back on the fucking sidewalk. You know, like, that's just fucking stupid. Why don't people look right before they come out of the sidewalk area in this town? I, I've only walked a block and and it's like I almost got hit already like four times so whatever let's see let's see let's see pay attention there you go put your phone down just kidding I'm the one with the phone in my fucking hand and I'm telling somebody else to put their phone down but I'm not driving oh my god look at this guys I gotta show you this probably gonna get killed for this but look at that. Fucking A. You know what that is, guys? That's a Lotus. That's a Lotus. If you don't know what a Lotus is, you can no longer be my friend. If you don't know what a Lotus is, we're going to have to redefine our friendship. But I just showed you what a Lotus was. So therefore, I guess we're all right. Man, apparently I'm not from around here because everybody seems to be fucking like jaywalking and shit. And I'm the only person standing and waiting for the fucking light to turn. You know? I guess maybe I should just walk out in front of people. 
So uh, I just left Virginia Beach and that was like four o'clock this morning. I got a little sleep last night. I mean, I'm good enough to drive. I'm not like not safe, but I just have to keep waking up every two hours because the people at the Sam's Club said, oh, check in at seven and check in out 8.30 and then check in at 10. And I'm like, just, just let me know. Well. They ended up unloading me, I think, at <clears throat> right at 10 o'clock. My appointment wasn't until 12.30 midnight. I was hoping I could get unloaded earlier so I can get, like, you know, at least six hours of solid sleep. I only got four hours of real good solid sleep. Two hours I was out, but I had to wake up and whatever. Anyways, I'm fine. It's uh, 7.33 here. I'm in Richmond, Virginia, and I just spit on my phone. <laughs> And I don't know if you can tell, but they're loading me. You feel the bump? This is going to El Paso, Texas. I got to be there on the 25th at 8 o'clock in the morning. It is the 21st. I have plenty of time. I'm going to run 500 miles a day. I might even do six if I'm feeling up to it. And then hopefully I get home on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's the 26th. El Paso, Texas is uh, I think 600 or 500 miles away from uh, from my town, from Tucson, Arizona. So I mean, it, I'm giving or taking. I'm not exactly sure how many miles, but it's a day run, you know, easily. Not even a day run. I can go. From El Paso to Phoenix, Arizona, and back to Tucson in an 11-hour drive. So it's it's a piece of cake. I know this because I've done it multiple times. That's how they get me home: is they have me relay shit in Phoenix, and then I just turn right around and take off and go back to Tucson. And when I get back to Tucson, I have about shit. I even have like an hour left on my drive clock. So, um, yeah. To answer a question that uh, I got a comment, they did get my truck done. It's been done for two days. Yesterday and the day before. The day before, I picked up my truck, I went on the board, I got a load out, and then when I got to the destination, it's like this... I'm not going to say the name of the place, but they ship toilet paper and paper towels. It took them all day and all night to load me. And let me explain that to you. I'm like ready to rock because I only drove two hours to get to this location. I had a whole eight hour drive clock in front of me to where I could run. I was hoping they could get me loaded like within an hour or something, you know? I got there at 2 p.m. I didn't get out of there till the next day at six o'clock in the morning. I ran out of hours and they told me I couldn't stay the night there. And I'm like, yeah, watch me. I unhooked my truck and trailer, left the trailer in the dock. I went out to a dirt lot and I slept. And then at noon, at noon, I call midnight noon, <laughs> at midnight, this security guard wakes me up and asks me what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm in here crocheting, you fucking idiot. I'm sleeping. What does it look like? Seriously? My blinds are shut. My truck is off. What do you think I'm doing? I'm sleeping, dude. Leave me alone. No, you can't sleep here. Uh, yeah. I am, and well, anyways, I ended up telling him to call his his boss because his boss said that I, you know, when it's their fault that I'm out of hours, that if they run your hours out, they let you sleep there. But if you drive in there and you only have like 30 minutes left on your clock, and you plan on sleeping there, I mean, it's not their fault that you had no hours, so they're kind of more like f you type situation, whatever. But I should make it home. 
I'm gonna go, I'm in um, Richmond, Virginia, and I'm gonna shut down in, in Knoxville, Tennessee at the uh, Flying J on the 40 at, on Watt Road. I always stop there for some reason, no matter what reason, I always either fuel there or sleep there. And tonight I feel like fucking shutting down there. That's where I'm gonna shut down because my appointment was supposed to be at six o'clock this afternoon. But see, I know how to play the game. And uh, I was taught very well by a friend of mine. Even though he wasn't even my finisher, Chris has taught me some pointers on how to get loaded early. And uh, it's definitely helped out a bunch. So what I did is I called and asked them if they were a 24-hour facility. And they said they were. This was last night. And I asked them if my load would be ready by 6 o'clock in the morning. Well, well, we're not doing anything right now. Do you plan on coming in at 6 o'clock in the morning? Well, if you can get me loaded at 6 o'clock in the morning, I'll be there at 6 o'clock in the morning, dude. That's like 12 hours early, you know? And they're like, well, come on in. We'll load you. So I got here. And they're loading me. So I have a whole day today to drive because they were dispatching me to pick up at 6 o'clock this afternoon and get in to uh, the place at 8 o'clock in the morning. And I, I still would have made it, but I would have had to have drive overnight. And I don't like doing that. So I played my cards right. And now I'm getting loaded. So I have all day today to drive, all day tomorrow, all day the 23rd, all day the 24th. And then if I even wanted to, which I don't know why, I get up at run at 4 o'clock in the morning. I could shut down early, like, I don't know, 200 miles away from it, get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and just walk it in, and then have a whole other day. But I would rather have a fresh day on the 25th, like a fresh day, like get to the location on the 24th, have the 25th to where I can get home even before Thanksgiving. So cross our fingers and hopefully that shit works out. So I got this shit all planned in my head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run my ass off to get home, and anybody would in their right mind if they wanted to get home for thanksgiving and their wife and their son is expecting them and you're a truck driver you better get me home if not i'm gonna look for another truck company and then if it's your fault you know that's your own fault but whatever anyway so that's the update and uh i hope you guys enjoyed that like little stupid shit that happened last night in richmond virginia i mean it was nothing big but I just thought it was cool just to kind of record something. But, all right, guys, Rob Realistics out.